I'm Margaret Mabeleng and I'm coming to you live from Parliament in Cape Town just ahead of the State of the Nation address. The President will be addressing the nation at 7 o'clock. Hi DM, how are you? I'm fine, thanks. Ma'am, please tell us about your dress. You look so lovely. Well, it's young guys from Pretoria in Waterkloof, Neville and his team. I thought I must really uh, empower our sector, the LGBTQI sector, and they made me to look, the look, yeah, elegant, simple but elegant. So Minister, with tonight's sauna, what is it that you anticipate that the President will speak about towards, um, regarding your department? Look, there are so many young people who are unemployed, and we think the digital space and the digital economy will be a disruptor to intervene in the challenges that we are confronted with. Not only about connectivity in our rural areas and other things, but also exposing young people to be innovative and occupy the space in the digital space. That's one of the things we think he'll talk to. But for benefits to young people in the education sector, streaming of education material or content for free for young people. Those are the things we want to see. Uh, those who play in the telco space coming because data must fall and data is gradually coming to fall thanks to the competition commission as well. And then those are the things we want to see. In the health sector, uh, telemedicine, where we are unable to have doctors connect clinics and hospitals to professional doctors and specialists so that our people can be able to benefit. Okay. How are you, Minister? I'm all right. I'm good, thank you. So, Minister, tell us, as a young woman in the department that you're heading, what is it that you would like to hear from tonight's State of the Nation address and does, how does it align with your plans? Uh, I'd like to hear how we plan as government or how, what are the matching orders for us to create jobs and get our people to create jobs and self-employment because the unemployment rate is too high, especially amongst young people and also amongst women. So for me, the, the, the emphasis on what is the plan around women and young entrepreneurs and, uh, and just economic development for me is a good thing. But given my history and where I come from, it would also be interesting to hear what are we doing to respond to the challenges that we are facing in the education sector and uh, that, that will be a major issue and we know that small businesses are also affected by load shedding. We want concrete plans on how we are going to deal with getting a security of energy supply. So Minister, tell us about your dress code. Who dressed you and you look very lovely? I'm dressed by a small business. Her name is Poppy Mereki. Her label is just Poppy and the hair is done by Janine Nell and Poppy is from Limpopo in Bembe, my home province and region. But Janine is from KZN and Durban and they are big in, in hats and that's why I look beautiful. So um, lastly, for any young person who's out there and who wants to be an entrepreneur and thinking, this is so impossible, how do I do it? So as you are heading this department, what is your message to them? It's, it's never impossible until it's done. So you must just start and we are here to offer support. We are available everywhere. We are working with municipalities. So you can go to your local municipalities. They'll give you assistance and they'll also help you link us with us faster.